Hello guys and welcome to Extreme Tech Solutions and welcome to our first ever video on the channel. Today this tutorial is going to be showing you on how to make your PC boot up faster. Now let me th let's think. If we have a one core processor versus a four four core processor machine then obviously the four core is going to be faster. That's the same for if you if you're booting up on a PC. If you have a dual core processor and you have a four core processor, then obviously the four core is going to win again on the boot up. But you would think that, but it's actually not if you haven't changed or configured your settings. Now, by default, any PC pretty much by default only starts up on one processor. So, obviously, the, the if you had a, a Intel Pentium. And an i7, maybe the i7 may win a little bit faster because of the faster, um, faster processor in the gigahertz. But in theory, they're they're pretty much the same. So if you've got a a, a dual core, a quad core, uh, no, a dual core, tri core, quad core, I think they do a five core. I'm not too sure. Um, and they do the eight core AMD. I'm not too sure what Intel do. Obviously, you've got the i7 and the i3, but enough of that. Um, then you can do this. But if you've only got one core processor, then you can't do this, I'm afraid. You know, your PC will always start off the same. Now, I have a dual core, but for some reason, the setting isn't coming up for mine, so I need to take a look at my machine after. But hey ho, I'll still show you. So, if you've got uh, a four core machine, and you set it to start up on four core. Obviously, four core versus a two core machine is going to obviously four core is going to start up faster. So that's enough for that. You get the general idea. So go to the startup globe, Windows 7 startup globe. Type in ms config. This stands for Microsoft configuration. Click on the little computer with the checkbox, and then you need to go over to boot. Then from boot. You need to go. This will just tell you a little bit of information about your what you've got. So you've got Windows Seven. It's on the C drive, which is the main drive. Current OS, default OS. So it's the default Windows Seven. Then you need to go to Advanced Options, and if it's not already ticked, tick Number of Cores. So tick that, and then f click on the drop-down menu. And obviously, the maximum amount of cores. If you want to, click the maximum so it start up as fast as it could possibly run at. And there you go. But obviously, for me, at the moment, this is only saying one core because I've got a problem with my system. You can also do memory, which I, I've i only got 2 gigabyte of memory in this. So, there you go. But, let's just leave that. So, obviously, you click OK, and then you can click OK or Apply, and it'll say, do you want to restart your PC? Yes, you do. You want to, rest like it says here, you want to restart the PC to apply the changes. So I guess I've got a bit of a cold. So I don't need to really restart because it's already starting up on one call by default because I'm having a problem with the system. So I'm just going to click exit without restart. But you guys need to click restart. Don't click don't show this message again unless you're going to change it on a regular basis. But just click restart. Then once your PC restarts and if you've got a password before you log on, if you get what I mean. Or you've got multiple users that use the same PC, um, you will have to listen to it uh, in, on the administrative side or do it under administrative status. Um, and just wait a few minutes before you type in your password to go on. Uh, the reason is, is because I had a few issues before where I was doing it and it was only the um, mouse system part of the hard drive was working. Um, I could click like, I could click like, start. Uh, it could click the like internet, like Google Chrome, things like that, but it wouldn't do anything. So then I had to hold the power button on my PC and redo it that way. Still didn't work, so therefore I had to wait a few minutes just to get it to boot up because the first time of it booting up on the maximum cause, so the system's got to get, the system's got to get, you know, used to the settings. And you're well and good, and your PC will start up slightly more, a few seconds shade faster than it would on a one core. So, this is how you did it. 
thank you for watching uh, keep an eye out for other tutorials thanks for watching guys